down in the dirt, but sitting on the throne. You're worthy of it all. One more time, say. You're worthy of it all. For from you are all things, and to you. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to our Watch Night service. Uh, it's a little bit different than what we're used to, but we give God thanks that we can meet in this way on this platform. And so welcome, welcome, welcome. Those who, who took the time out to join us, welcome. Uh, if you can turn your, your, your mobile phone volumes off, but if we can see you on the camera, it'd be fantastic. You know, usually we'll be together uh, doing other things. But tonight we just want to reflect back on 2020 and uh, share testimonies, read scriptures, and set the scene for 2021 as we cross over tonight. As we come up to midnight. Okay, we're going to have a time when we are silent before God, where we are going to cross over in prayer. Okay, so we'll cross over from one year to the other year in prayer. And after that, we can wish one another a happy new year. And so to start us off this evening, we're going to start, we started with that fantastic worship song uh, from Chandler Moore and Jacqueline Carr who's brought us into the presence of God, okay? And, you know, that's what we've come to do, to give him all the glory. And so we're going to commit all that we're doing, all that we're going to do tonight to the Lord. We're going to ask Brother Paul Sardvong to come and just lead us in prayer. So if you can unmute yourself and uh, turn your camera on, Brother Paul, then you can lead it, kick us off in prayer as we uh, go through into 2021. Let us pray. Good evening, everyone. Let us pray. Father God, we just, first of all, humble ourselves to you. You are the mighty God. You are the God of the most high God. Father God, we just, just come to you in your presence, Father God. We don't realize what a year 2020 has been and what a year 2021 could be. So Father God, we give you this year 
and next year into your hands. And we just want to say a big thank you. So we give you thanks and praise and honour and glory. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you so much, Brother Paul. You keep, keep your camera on, but just turn your mic off. Okay. And so we're going to, um, now we've got, you know, I was thinking and meditating and cogitating and asking the Lord, Lord, give me a word. I need a word from you. Because usually every year I ask the Lord for a word, for a scripture to stand on, and for a song. I said, Lord, give me a word. And I was, as I was going in the shower, I had my shower this morning, coming out of the shower. This is my testimony, by the way. Just, a, just an encouragement. I want everyone to prepare to do something, bring an offering to the Lord, okay? And uh, I, I looked on my, um, got out of my shower, I looked on my deodorant, and on the deodorant, it says, sure. Hmm. And then the, the, the Holy Spirit said to me, sure, God is sure. God is the sure foundation. God is, everything about him is sure. Okay. He's our surety, our insurance policy. And, and so I'm going to share with you later on that word that I'm going to deposit in your spirit and that word that is going to keep us for 2021 as we go through whatever is is, is, is thrown at us. We're going to do it in faith. Amen. And so let me welcome those from abroad. Welcome Pastor Mava. Yes, you can just wave. She's in Jamaica and she's five hours behind us. And Sister Susan, who's in Turkey. You're two hours ahead of us. Very Sister Susan. <laughs> it must be the new year for you already, if you're two hours ahead of us. Is it? Where is Sister Susan? Are you three hours ahead of us? Three? It's um, past 1 a.m. here. <laughs> Happy New Year <laughs> to you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, wow. Fantastic. And I'm a bit we... tired. <laughs> okay, all right. No problem. Bear, bear with us. We're only going to be a couple of hours and then you are welcome to turn off your camera and go to sleep. <laughs> I've got my pillow. <laughs> good, good, good. Okay, so welcome everyone, welcome, welcome, welcome. And so we're going to have a time of testimony where everyone can testify about what the Lord has done for you in 2020. Remember, we encourage you uh, at the beginning of, of March, we marched out of the Methodist church into the St. Andrews up the road. And then by the 23rd of March, we had the lockdown. So everything was shut down and we had to join on this platform. And so we're going to have, we're not going to, we're going to, we're going to budget the time. Okay. So if you've got a testimony, a song or whatever, please share it with us as we, uh, move forward okay and I've, I've got a the Lord gave me a word he gave me a scripture and he gave me a song because he never fails and then we're going to play the song uh, sometime later on and so we, if you well I don't know if you're going to put your hands up but we're going to start off by sharing with you a uh, a um Hmm, testimony and a song from our Ainsley and Nikisha. All right. And so here they are doing their thing. Let's see. Come on, Ainsley and Nikisha. Oh, where's my phone? Where's my phone? Yeah. Okay. And so if you prepare yourselves. to right as we go forward into 20 to make jesus our number one amen let us worship
Come on. Sir. Just the Welcome, Cheryl. Thank you. Uh, yeah, give them a round of applause. That was Ainsley and Nikisha who recorded that earlier. Weren't they fantastic? Now, I wonder if either of them would like to embellish that or add to that. So let me ask if you can unmute. I don't know if you've got Ethan or if he's sleeping. If you can turn on your camera and your mic, Nikisha. Uh, and just say a few words additional to what you did on the recording. Yeah. Okay, you turn your camera on. Good evening, folks. Currently not in a position to turn the camera. Okay. But, um, yeah, I think um, the song that Nikisha and I 
we and we just felt it led on our hearts and just felt to just that just came out today as such and um, just keeping Jesus at the center because there's a lot of different things we hear in terms of even when we look at the news and you hear what's going on so much uncertainty everything's on shaky ground you can't put your faith in anything apart from Jesus so it's just keeping that and also the priority parts of uh, we just felt that that was something um, we wanted to share. And as we go into 2021, I believe that whilst the irony is 2020 is to have 2020 vision, clarity, I thought that's kind of what we need to be also having, just that clarity, remove all of these other obst obstacles and have, um, you know, these at the same time, also just have the sense of gratitude. Mm. Uh, that's um, one of the I know uh, my mom loves that song Blessings Fall on My Right Hand and this gratitude is a must all of those is, I think that's also something that we just need to go in and be grateful for the little things so yeah I won't take up too much more time but um, I just wanted to share that and I felt that it's better to rather than bring in a need to the service why don't I bring a seed and that's kind of one of the things I also would like to engender with in everybody here. If we can all think about, let's bring in our seed to, to worship as opposed to our need. Wow, powerful. I'll leave it there. Okay, Nikisha? Nikisha, she's just going up. Okay. Anything from the kitchen? Okay, let's, uh, no. let's let's move on quickly to uh, hear some of the stories of of how God has brought us through, and we're going to bring you know uh, positive, uplifting stories that's encouraging our hearers. And so we're going to ask Sister Yvonne, who we know, Sister Yvonne, we know that you've been through the mail. And you've been ups and downs, but if you could co condense it into, you know, how God has brought you through 2020, and what are your expectations for 2021? Let's hear from you. Um, good evening, Wembley Family Church, and also to our overseas visitors and Pastor Marva. Um, I'm going to condense mine down very slowly by one word or two words staying positive and it hasn't been easy for me but god has just told me just continue to keep positive i went back to work 21st well i went back to work 4th of december after breaking my toe 21st of december went to work as normal hour and a half later i was told i have to go home go back in shielding went home ever since from last week and especially this week five people in my office are now positive with covid we do the tests well i do my tests tuesdays and fridays me and my boss has never been close and oh i don't know what's happened but because five between four and five people now this week have been positive They've had to send, I thought it was going to be a courier this morning. It was an ambulance vehicle come to let me do another COVID test. But I've been leaving it in the hands of the Lord because right up to Tuesday, it's been positive. My boss has been texting me Christmas Day, text me again today, emailing me today to say she's going to be on holiday till the 13th of January. But as soon as I get my test, I must email because they need to know i don't know all of a sudden they're taking so much more um th they want to know more they just want to make sure i'm safe even though i'm telling them i'm fine and i know god's just told me keep positive since i've been back home from last week i've gone back on my gospel jamaica fm radio and i'm having fun here at home so that's my testimony amen amen Okay, so you see the flavor that it, it, it's uh, that's sparked. 
So COVID, take a back seat. Thank you so much, Yvonne. Right, we're going to go to Sister Esma. Let's hear your testimony. We've seen you. It's unmute yourself and tell us what the Lord has been doing and has done for you, Sister Esma. Let's unmute yourself if you can. I think your iPhone is seen. Let's hear from you. Good evening, each and everyone. Indeed. Happy New Year. Indeed. I have about two, three months ago, I started thinking there's something in the Bible, the passage in the Bible that I, each time I go to read Psalms 27, it keeps saying Psalms 37. And for an entire month, I'm saying, I don't want Psalms 37, so I'll go back to 27. And then I thought, let me look at 37. And that was the psalm that I asked God to show me about the man from Lebanon, the big man, and he was gone. And I just sat there in my bed and I thought, you ask God to talk to you when he talks to you. Don't listen. Mm -hmm. And at one stage, I said to Sister Rose, I'm going to phone pastor and ask pastor. And I said, no, because pastor said, that's why you should listen, come to Bible studies. And Rose laughed and said, you know pastor so well. But, you know, each and every one of us has been through a lot. Not one person, not every one of us. I've had two uncles that passed of old age, nothing to do with COVID. Oh, I, ca I call it the flu. It's nothing to do with the COVID. It's called the flu. I'd say to everyone, refer to it as the flu. Then a cousin of mine live in Jamaica, lived here in Wembley. Mr. Walters went back to Jamaica about 17 years ago. And he was never sick. He's a fit man. And he said, because of this COVID that's going on, he's going to have the injection, the flu injection. And within 24 hours, my cousin was dead. He had the flu injection and he started allergic reaction and he was gone. And you know what I'm saying? I prayed and I keep praying and I cry and I prayed and I asked God to show us the right way because this vaccination is evil. And we need to ask God to help us through this. I haven't seen my grandchildren for seven months and I'm crying because of that, but I'm not the only one. So I can say, thank God. And please, we need to pray for each other. And that's what I'm doing. And I'm still alive and I'm still fit and well. So thank God. Amen. Thank you so much, uh, Sister Esma. Wonderful testimony. Okay, let's go to Turkey now. Let's have hear from Sister Susan. We, we, we want to make sure that if you fall asleep, we hear your testimony and what the Lord has been doing through you and, and you. Okay. Thank you. That's very kind of you. I don't think I'll last till your new year. <laughs> that will be like three or four in the morning. Um, Last week, um, when I was at the service, um, the Lord gave me um, his word into the next year. Of course, that speaks to me personally, but perhaps um, you might, some of you might find this a direction or encouraging. Um, and as uh, <laughs> it's so timely because it's Psalms 37. And I wrote down uh, what the Spirit was saying to me, and it was, do not fret. That was one of the points. Trust in the Lord. Commit your way to the Lord. Um, delight in the Lord. And so the list uh, goes on. And the second part was Ephesians chapter 6, where... Um, the Lord was instructing me and reminding me to put on the armor of God. And that's a daily checklist uh, because we need to protect our head. <laughs> the devil will attack um, our salvation. We need to protect our heart, the, the breastplate of righteousness. We need to stand firm in the truth. So we need that belt. We need the sort of uh, which is the word of God, the readiness to share the gospel. And so it's a long list, um, but I'm sure we're all very familiar with um, the scriptures. And 
you know, in, in my journey, all of us are in the same storm, but we are on different kinds of boats. So um, some may be cruising, some may be um, having a more difficult time, but the Lord is sufficient for all our battles and all our needs. This morning I woke up and I stayed in bed a, a bit longer, thanking God and thinking and counting my blessings. And um, then I woke up and I started cooking. The doorbell rang and a friend uh, came by. She's also my gynecologist and she came by and she brought me a present, uh, something that was handmade and something from you know, one of those um, packages where you have all the pampering toiletries. And I, I know that um, it is a little gesture in spite of her busy schedule, but you see God send uh, people our way. He makes a way uh, to cheer us up, to encourage us. Um, I wanna thank God most of all for your church that during this time, I'm able to join you Pastor Marva and I have gotten closer um, and we're sharing more. And, you know, it is a joy for me. Um, you know, it's 1.30 at night here. <laughs> I'm, I'm like really sloppy, but I just want to tell you that um, I love all of you and God loves you. So we can trust in him and come what may. His... Uh, you know, we are already victorious in Christ. God bless you. Amen. Wonderful, wonderful. A few more people join. Welcome, welcome those who are coming. We're going to, as I said, spend this time giving our testimony and sharing what the Lord has done. And as Angel remind us, let's bring a seed, not a need. Okay, bring your seed and sow it. Sow it in faith and reap in righteousness and bounty. And so, yeah, okay, let's now turn to Sister Gail. Sister Gail, so about what has 2020 done for you? What have you achieved in 2020? I know some of her story, but she's best at telling us. Come on, Sister Gail, tell us what the Lord has done for you. She just popped out. Oh, has she? Well, you'll have to start then and let her finish. Oh, okay. All right. Um... Well, at, at the beginning of March, um, I brought home a gift from work to, to my wife, me and, and it was the gift of, uh, unfortunately, we had COVID and, um, or the flu, as Esma says, um, and we were five weeks laden up in the bed. So it's kind of a different angle on it, but um, God brought us through, you know, and um it was it was quite a hard time i actually thought i wondered if we were going to get through you know um many times and it was and it was a struggle i'd never kind of been that ill before um and we had to rely on god we had to rely on people praying for us and messaging us all the time and so um it was very difficult but we got through and, and god helped us to get through um i think this year has shown me how awesome God is and how how little bit we are, you know, in this world. You know, where we 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 kind of walk around thinking we we own the we own the world and we own stuff and we're 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 so important. And to be honest, you know, just uh, when God sees people fighting for toilet rolls, he he must be laughing, you know. So um, I'm going to hand you to Gail, and she's going to. Okay. tell you a little bit about your testimony this year oh, okay okay afternoon church um, good night good night sorry sorry <laughs> good night good night good evening early morning <laughs> um i'm very grateful to um be able to spend the time at home during the covid i remember um in early march i kept saying to paul Oh, I wish I didn't have to go into the office. Oh, I wish I could work from home. And I kept doing this for two weeks because I felt really bad. And then before I knew it, they said, oh, you have to work from home. 
and um, I got my wish. <laughs> so I didn't have to pray very long for that. <laughs> but um, it just, it just, um, it just worked out really well. And I'm just grateful that um, I was able to do that for, you know, for us to get to closer together, to get to know each other, and um, and just to concentrate on some things that I just wanted to get done as well, and to get to know some people. Believe it or not, you you get to spend time with people online, so you get to know some people better as well. So I'm just grateful for that, really. And 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 especially, I'm especially grateful that we were able to meet together on ch at church because I, I think we had tried it once before I think last the previous year and it, I didn't work so well with it I remember but um yeah I really look forward to having church online as well amen well thank you so much anything else to add Paul or well oh gosh before anything else that the Lord has done to you yeah well, just just something that lays on my heart for for next year, to be honest. Um, okay, share it then. Well, it, it's a it's a scripture, mm -hmm. and it's Jeremiah Jeremiah thirty three three, which is <laughs> one of my favourites, you know. And um, if anyone, you know, they they have all these nine 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 one one one. Now, if you just remember three three three, and uh, Jeremiah thirty three three says, moreover, the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah a second time while he was still shut up in the court of the prison saying thus says the lord who made it the lord who formed it to establish it call to me and i will answer you and show you great and mighty things which you do not know and i just think like jeremiah was shut up in the prison i think some of some some of us maybe feel like that you know we feel that we're shut up in our room and nothing can happen but the lord says he made it he formed it and he established it and that's, that's everything that he, he's in charge of everything. And we as Christians need to know that. We need to know that, you know, the most high God is the God, is the only God. And he says, call to me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things that you will, that you do not know. And that's, that's a little scripture for anyone for next year. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Paul. Well, we can do some calling on the Lord later on. So... But um, let us continue with sharing our testimonies. Now, um, we've got a few younger pers people who, you know, younger in terms of Christian journey. And we're gonna ask you to share your experience. We're gonna go to Sister uh, Leone, where are you? If you can unmute yourself, Sister Leone, and let's see your face as well. Uh, turn your camera on if you can, and share what, what 2020, uh, how has it helped you in your faith, in your walk, in your growth, as you've come back and come into fellowship with the Lord? You used to sit down and be so quiet, and now, you know, the Lord has really touched you. Let's hear from you, Sister Leo. Hi, Pastor. Hi, Church. Sorry, I wasn't expecting to come on the camera. Um, <laughs> um, yeah. Um, what can I say about this year? I mean, this year started off really well for me. Um, I don't know, um, in church, I remember saying my testimony about my previous job that I really hated, um, disliked, and um, I'd been praying for ages for a new job. And so March brought me a new job and three weeks into training came lockdown. Um, <laughs> so I really thought like, I thought they wasn't going to keep me on. Um, but I'm still there, so by God's grace. And um, yeah, this this year it started off well. I remember having a lot of anxiety and worry about turning 29 in February, and my 29th birthday came, and it was actually fine. <laughs> and again, I, this like as the year has started to come to a close, I started to get some anxiety about turning 30, and. Um, I spoke to some of the girls that um, I do a drama class with and some of them are turning 32 and I realised actually it's not something to be so frightened about or fearful but actually just to trust the Lord and um, the process that he has for me and actually turning 30 is actually a blessing so um, this year's definitely taught me to lean more on the Lord 
um I've actually I went out today and um just went for a walk and just thought I'd clear my mind because everything just wasn't going well but um yeah I just realized that I just need to really trust in the Lord and um often, often I can compare myself to other young people um and often beat myself up but um this year has just really made me realize that I'm not in, comp in co uh, it's not for me to compare myself against others but just to make sure that I'm doing what I feel is right and and to make sure that my journey with the Lord is strong I kind of feel like I just used to just read my bible in the morning or the bible app and then just go about my day but um this year I've really I don't know I think it's drawn me closer to the Lord and it's not just about reading my bible in the morning but about having relationship with Christ throughout the day and yeah just yeah it's just been really enjoyable really Excellent. thank you so much uh, okay. Leone wonderful you see when we trust in the Lord we, he's able he's more than able and that's the song for us this year that he, he said use that song he's able he's able our God is able all right remember that that's a song we're gonna play it later on all right we're gonna have a few more testimonies then we're gonna have a, a song in a minute I wonder if, if, if Lorna wants to sing for us is that Lorna Donna. Don't know what to sing. Honestly. Oh, oh, it is you. Turn your camera on. Let's see you as well if you can. Hey, come on. I'm, I mean, <laughs> camera, camera on. Hello, good there night. There you go. Anyway, uh, share your testimony. And if you want to sing, just sing. If you don't want to sing, don't sing. But just share your testimony about 2020. Okay, 2020. Um. 2020 has been a year of um, like um, everyone know that I lost my auntie in June. Um, that that is really, I'm still thinking about her as I just posted on her um, time um, FaceTime just now. Happy New Year in heaven. But I'm giving God thanks. I'm giving God praise. Everything that is going on, it could be worst. Um, just want to encourage everyone as well. Um, don't care what we are going through. God is, God is there for us. And um, we should really trust him. And as you were um, um, speaking, Pastor, I, I, I just, um, this song just dropping my spirit, trust, trust in the Lord. Um, Lean not on your own understanding. Um, mm. I remember Don, little girls, they're singing that song just now. So just trust in the Lord. And um, with God in the vessel, I know he, he, he will smile at all the storms. So 2021, I hope everyone all the best. And I'm wishing it will be everything that we hope and pray for. Wonderful. Thank you so much, uh, Sister Donna, Sister Lorna. Thank you, Pastor. Excellent. It's wonderful when we learn to trust in the Lord. So, as you quite rightly said, Donna, trust in the Lord. Let me, uh, let's, just, let's just share in the song from, if you just mute yourself, share in the song from Noel, uh, Noel Robinson. Now, Noel is, is a good friend of our, good friend of well, love seemingly good friend of our ministry and he and he writes songs and he sends them over and says oh, what do you think of this and and so on and he's so i want us to just to, to share in singing okay and it's more than more than you know it's about jesus he gives us life you give me life Abundantly. Abundantly, you give me hope. Expectantly, expectantly, more than I can add, more than I can think, making the impossible possible. In Thank you. 
Amen, 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 amen. He gives life more abundantly. He gives peace. He gives reassurance. Now, as you can see, time is running by and we've got a lot of people I'd like to call on to give their testimony. And so we're going to go to some of the, our elder statesmen and we're going to turn to Deacon Kitson and Sister Sonia. I wonder if you can unmute yourself and show your, cam your face and tell us how you got over, how you got through 2020, Deacon and Sister Sonia. Give us your testimonies. Good afternoon, everyone. Well, good evening, everyone. Uh, good night, everyone. It's a lovely night. Uh, good to see everyone. Now, 2020, it's, it's been, it started off not too good because I, I end up with the COVID and, well, Sonia had to look after me. And uh, I said, it, it wasn't easy, you know, but God is with us and God is with, you know, God is always looking after us. And I, I'm, I'm so thankful for Wembley Family Church and thankful for, you know, this platform that we can all be here. We're here every Sunday giving God praise. And one of the, one of the things that happened to me in 2020 was when Pastor Marva said, you're going to hold the uh, the Alpha course over again, and uh, the Alpha course has been a bit of a renewal for us all, uh, for me and you know all the participants. It's a bit of 
you know, it's like rekindling love all over again. And we had Paul and Gail and Sister Beverly and Cleve and Pauline. And it, it's been some wonderful discussions we have had, you know. And it showed us the showed us the the love of God. You know I mean? And how you know we should one of the things that we learn is throughout the thing is God there's only one way to describe God and that, that is love, you know. That is love and we love God. But for me, the verse of the Bible that always give me encouragement and, and let me feel good is uh, is Romans 38 from verse 35 to the 35 to the end, I think. Uh, who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? As it is written, for, for thy sake... We are killed all, all the day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I, I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, neither depth, neither height, nor depth, nor any creature, shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. And for me, that is, it, it's more than just saying it. it's a prayer. God, you love me. I'm, I'm, uh, I am a terrible sinner, and I sin every day. But, you know, God, you love me. You love me with all my warts and everything. Or, or, you know, and each day I pray and say, Lord, just take away the take away the the things in me that don't please you mm. and, and and you know keep keep molding me uh so that i can continue to give you praise and i do i do miss a few people i miss people in church i miss i miss ezekiel i haven't seen ezekiel for such a long time why you mean i want to see him and not give him a big hug but it's covid time i probably can't hug him you know so that is my testimony uh for 2020 and 2021 uh we're gonna be back in the church although we are in lockdown now we're gonna be back in the church soon but we have been in there for a few sundays but it's been a bit cold but we're gonna go back and uh Ainsley was there playing the piano just as he always is and we gotta say so well he's not a young man anymore we gotta say you know what I mean? he's getting a bit older now so to our young men and young people You'll be back in church with us all day long, singing and shouting and thanking God for his grace and mercy. Thank you, Pastor Ben. Hey, uh, Deacon, are we going to hear anything from Sister Sonia? No, Pastor Ben. Sister Sonia got around the corner. She says no. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Now, okay, you were right. mentioning, thank you so much. You were mentioning, bless you, bless you, bless you. You were mentioning Alpha Course. And we've got several people who've attended it. Uh, we've got... We've got my cousin Cleve. Can we hear from you, brother, cousin Cleve, and your experiences this year? You know, you've gone through so much. Tell us how this has helped you. And then we're going to have, uh, uh, I think it's Norma afterwards. Go on, cousin Cleve, up to, over to you. Hi, 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 hi. Um, yeah, I was just reflecting. I was. Um, listening to others speaking. I, I, I suppose all of this started end of 2019 when I sort of reconnected with you and, and Marvel. I, I remember coming to, I think it was a Christmas party you was having at the old church. Mm. Um, there was something going on and that's when really, we've, we've never been out of contact, but we've had long periods. And... Um, then I started spending the odd weekend with you and attending church, um, something that I hadn't done for many years, not on a consistent basis, um, conventions, whatever, but I started attending Wembley Family Church and, uh, um, and enjoyed um, the experience. 
And I guess if it wasn't for that initial period in, in January, February, I probably wouldn't have been on the, the platform. I guess it's mm. because I was engaged with you at that point. Uh, and when lockdown came, um, it was the easy thing to do to, I wasn't going anywhere to join the service, says on a Sunday. And I started to follow and read and, and get closer to, to the Lord, I would say. And the opportunity came to go on the Alpha course, which um, I think um, Cousin Pastor Marv had to prompt me a little bit. Um, <laughs> but um, thank you for that, because it has been a, a, a fantastic opportunity to not only hear, but also to challenge and discuss, because um, I think God is, is, is can accept the odd challenge. Um, I think um, so. I like to understand, and of course, it's not about your own understanding. It is about faith and, and belief, but it's also good for me, good for my soul to be able to hear um, learned, um, experienced people in the Lord um, being able to share and, and put back another point of view. Um, there's, there's a song that's been on my mind, for, I, can't, I can't sing, so I won't sing, um, for, for, for quite some time. And um, it, it's actually Count Your Blessings. And um, I think we can all look back over the last year and we can be downhearted and, and depressed about lots of aspects, how life has changed. Um, but actually when you count your blessings and you name them one by one, you realize that um, things could be worse, <laughs> should, I, should I say. Um, it doesn't mean it's great. And the other thing that um, certainly through the Alpha and through reconnecting with the church is that um, there's so much out there. Um, people are with different theories, with different, whatever you believe, you can find someone or a thread or, or information that um, reinforces whatever you believe. But one thing this is, um, has reinforced me is that there's one truth and, and that's the word of God. So the rest of it you can take, you can internalize, you can work with as you see fit, but ultimately there's one truth and, and that's what I'm taking um, into next year. So thank you for the opportunity to, to share my few random thoughts, um, but that's, um, that's me, thank you. Wonderful. Thank you so much, um, Cleve. Fantastic. Now, we, is that Sister Bren, Sister Beverly? Sister B, is Sister B, Sister Beverly? Um, okay, if it's, if it is you, um, whoever Sister B is, you can un unmute yourself and she, I hope that's Sister Beverly. If not, we've also got um, Lisa, Lisa Facey. Lisa, I wonder if you can just share with us what 2020 is. Uh, what have you taken away from 2020 or leaving behind and taken into 2021? Uh, thank you for joining us, uh, Lisa. Lisa is my niece. So if you can unmute yourself and if you can uh, show us your face, that'd be fantastic as well. Over to you, Lisa. There you go. Hi, good evening, everyone. Um, 2020, I think um, for me, it's about being grateful. I think I'm so grateful to see this day, right, bringing in the new year, because with everything that's gone on, I just thank God for life. Um, I've had experience myself, my dad had COVID, but um, through God's grace, he came through it. And I think that was just through being positive. All the cards were against him. The NHS um, navigating the system was quite hard as well. So um, I'm just grateful 
for every day I wake up and um, I'm healthy. So um, for me, um, my testimony would be um, praising every day, just mm -hmm. giving thanks with whatever you're going through. I think even all the hurdles, the challenges, they're just something to um, either um, build your character or build your relationship, as other people have said, with God. And I feel that that's been um, the most powerful thing for me this year, even mm -hmm. just stepping out in bold faith. And um, I, like others here, have been working from home. I found that very challenging because I'm um, an, an assistant head in the, in the school. I'm on the shielding list, but still I've ex been expected to do the same workload. So I wake up in the morning and I just praise God. And I say, whatever challenges I face, um, I will just, um, become closer with God so stepping out in bold faith so regardless of what's going on regardless of what theories are going on as well because it's all what's in your mind so if you've got a strong mind you will get through so that's my testimony just give him praise in everything you do so I'm grateful for today and I'm grateful for being invited to the service and I wish everybody health and um, wish you all well just keep safe keep well and keep your mind strong thank you thank you so much uh, Lisa right we're gonna go now to sister Natasha Buchanan we know that you've had some challenges definitely you've got a testimony Come and share it with us, Sister Natasha. And let's see you as well, if it's possible. On mute and let me see your face for you. Over to you, Sister Natasha. Hi, church. Hi, Pastor. Wonderful. Good to see you. Can you hear me? Can you yeah, hear me all? Yeah, we can hear you and see you. Oh, good, good, good. Whoa, <laughs> wow. <laughs> it has been a rogue roller coaster for me this year um my health has really really been up and down um but through it all I've kept my eyes on God I've trusted in him and he's seen me through it so for me regardless of all the obstacles and um, even a little bit of bereavement within the family you know I just keep my my eyes focused on the Lord Mm. And he keeps me all the time. He never, ever, ever forsakes me. Never, ever, ever forsakes me. And um, in, in doing that, you know, I feel stronger each and every day. Each and every day that I wake up and see another day. I just feel so strong. Um, I was even in, in hospital, in hospital bed, you know, on death's door. And I just kept God with me all the time. You know, I never missed church. I never missed church. I made sure that, you know what, he's going to keep me through this. I've got to trust in him. That's what I did. And he showed me that I am there for you always. So, you know, I'm very, very thankful. I'm very, very grateful to God for everything, every, everything. So I just want to encourage everybody no matter what you're going through, let God be your rock. And he will never, ever, ever, ever forsake you. Trust me. I was on death's door and he kept me. So this is just an encouragement to everybody. Stand strong, stand firm, and just love, 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 and trust in God. Amen. Thank you so much. Remember, Ma and I are going to Watford General Hospital to see Natasha in the hospital. You know, that's not the first time we've seen her in that way, but God is good. All the time. Amen. Okay, let's let's hear from Kay, 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 Kane, if we can. Kay, let's have your testimony, and then we're going to invite Sister Dawn to either testify or sing sing to us. Hopefully she's going to do both. Sister Kay, Kay Kane, this is Pastor Marvel's sister. Or if you just want to say hi to the church. Uh, good night, everybody. Sorry. Can we see you? I, I, 
I came on just to listen, but I've got the opportunity <laughs> to speak. So good evening to everybody. Um, I think we're all so very blessed that we've made it um, so far in 2020. Um, I think like everyone else, as you said, it was um, a challenge for us. Um, it's quite interesting because God always, I think everyone can witness whether you believe in God or not. He does actually challenge us through life. But I think this year more than ever, we've re it's really kind of come to the surface how much um, we've been challenged. But um, I'm just happy um, to be with you all and to know that we've made it through this year. Um, I've, I've been very blessed, unlike a lot of people that's been affected. I haven't really been affected. My boss got it um, in, in March, beginning of March. And the funny thing is we social distance working anyway. And by chance that day, that when he realized he had to, we had been working right next to each other all day. And, um, you know, God's really good because I had an ear infection, so I had to go home and they had given me antibiotics. So for some strange reason, I think the antibiotics had just started to kick in and I wasn't affected, but I've known a few people, a couple of people that I've worked with, they've, you know, their families, they've lost family and things like that. But um, as I said in the beginning, God's good. And um, no matter what's happening, we always had to put him first. Um, that's all I've got to say. Thank you so much, uh, Sister Kay. God bless you. Wonderful. <clears throat> okay, let's go over to Sister Dawn now. Um, we, we're, see, we've got, only got another 50 minutes before it's a new year, so let's move it on swiftly. Sister Dawn and Kieran, if you could unmute, and also if we can see you, it'd be fantastic. It's a new beginning. Where are you, Sister Dawn? Have you got your mic? Have you got your uh, guitar? Um, good evening, everybody. <laughs> oh, um, no, I don't have my guitar, uh, but I'm here, thank God, and I'm very grateful and very happy that I am here today in the service. I am so grateful. This has been such a fantastic year for me but when I say fantastic as you know that Tasha has testified I don't mean fantastic in the things that we have encountered as a family but as as also I mean it's been fantastic with my walk with the Lord the things that God has been revealing to me in this year has been such an amazing journey for me um, I've learned so much about my character and about the, the what he he requires of me as a as a believer, and I must say, and I want to encourage any everyone, is that what has what it has been enlightening to is to read through the book of First Kings. We have been given this book to read through, and I will say that God has spoken to me through. First Kings chapter three, verses seven to fifteen, where he where, where he it says, "And now, O Lord my God, thou hast made thy servant king instead of David my father, and I am but a little child. I know not how to go up, go out, or come in." So Solomon is here. God is saying, "Ask of me what you will." And Solomon has decided that he's going to ask God to, to give him what he needs, a heart to lead his people, a heart to look after his people. He's asked, and he says here, and thy servant is in the midst of thy people, which thou hast chosen a great people that cannot be, um, that cannot be numbered nor counted for multitude. Give therefore thy servant an understanding heart to judge thy people that I may discern between good and bad for who is able to judge this thy so great a people and when I read this it just reminded me of who I am in Christ first and foremost I'm a servant of the living God and he has a will and a purpose for my life and throughout 2020 when 
family members are getting unwell, when sickness is riding and pain is riding my body, God has just kept on reminding me of who I am in him and who he is. And he is all powerful. He is all uh, everywhere. He's, you know, when I couldn't get to go to the hospital to see Tasha, this reality was that God says, all you need to do is pray and trust and believe. You know, your presence is not going to do nothing to help Tasha. Your presence is not going to do nothing to help your loved ones, but your prayers will. I am able, and you're a, you're a child of God, and I am, I am who you serve. So God kept on reminding me in 2020 who he is and who I am in him through Christ Jesus. And he started to help me. And I think for 2020, I would encourage everyone to pray that God will give you what you need to fulfill his purposes for your life. This is the heart that, that God has given me. And this is the scripture. This is about the scripture. God has a work for us to do. And I'm just going to encourage everyone that you pray for God to give you, you know, God said to Solomon, I didn't, you didn't ask for riches. You didn't ask for, you didn't ask for things that was selfless. You asked for things to help you, to equip you, to be in the kingdom, to serve, to lead, and to do what I've purposed your life for. And so I would just encourage everyone for 2021 to seek God's face about what it is that you are lacking or what it is that you need in order to fulfill this next journey we're going into, this new thing. And I'm going to be praying about maybe switching on my camera <laughs> so everyone can see me. I will pray for deliverance from these things. But I also, I'm going to pray about what God has called me to do because here in, even though we've been locked down, I've been working from home. I've been continually working and, you know, being there, it was so good to be able to pray. I've been praying with people more. God has placed people on my heart. I'm calling them up, seeing how they're doing. But God has got something special for us in 2021. I'm not certain how what it is, but I know that he is moving hearts and we're his hands and feet. So be encouraged, everyone, that, that whatever we are called to fulfill or purposes that we have been given, God is the one that we need to ask to equip us so that we can do it. So I Amen. would encourage you to that. So yeah, that's my few words. Amen. Wonderful. Great to have you back, Sister Dawn. Fantastic. Next time, bring your guitar. Hey. <laughs> All right, we're going to unmute Sister, um, Sister Pauline. All I can say is Sister Pauline is a faithful soul. And God has really allowed her to grow. So Sister Pauline, come and tell us. And whilst you're telling us, if Chantel will get ready to read Isaiah 33, 1 to 6, That'd be fantastic. Sister Pauline, tell us about your your your, your journey so far uh, throughout 2020. Good night, everyone. Well, like most of you all, I started off 2020 in good spirit because I just changed to a new job and I was in training. And then came March, like everyone, COVID hit. And then we all ended up working from home, which was one of my wish that one day I'd love to work from home. But saying that, whilst I was at home, I realized that it wasn't as I thought it would be. It was very depressing. I had a little bit of, lots of anxiety. Well, obviously because of the COVID, it brought that on and it wasn't going very well for me. So I just want to thank God for this platform because that helped me a lot. And I look forward to everything going so I could just log in and listen to people and get be encouraged. And that helped me through. And I just want to give him thanks and praise. And hopefully 2021 will be a lot better and I'll be able to walk in my purpose that he's ordained me to be. And that's all I have to say. And just wish everybody a happy new year when it comes. Amen. Thank you so much, Sister Pauline. Wonderful. Santel, can you... Uh... Unmute and do the biz. Read for us, Chantel. Isaiah 33, 1 to 6. If, if you are not ready, are you ready? Okay. While she's getting ready then, let's hear from Cheryl. 
one of the another big hitter. Tell us what um, 2020 has done for you, my dear. Give us a testify. Hi everyone, how are we all doing? Looking forward to 2021. Well, God has been good. I can't complain. I've got no complaint whatsoever. Um, his grace and his mercy kept me through 2021. Um, as you know, the environment that I'm working in, it's very, very scary there. I mean, of late, we've been getting lots of issues with positive testing, both residents and staff that I worked with. And But I'm, I'm not being touched. I've been tested and all my tests came out negative. So God is good. I can't complain. 2021 has been a year, not what we expected, but we give God thanks. There's a lot of things that it, it, um, it taught us, right? And um, one thing that I'm glad for is the technology of being in Zoom. Because can you imagine being in lockdown, having no church? A lot of us would have fallen into depression. Maybe some of us is, was not strong enough, commit suicide, who knows? But thanks be to God for technology and thanks be to God for Pastor Martha and Pastor Alton who have bring this platform to us so that we can meet. You know, it may not be the same thing as meeting in person, but to God be the glory, we can come and we can praise and we can sing and we have no limits. You know, we could go on for hours as well if we want to. So thanks be to God. Thanks to COVID for bringing us to Zoom. You know, we have a lot of bad things to say, but it's brought a good thing unto me. Amen? Amen. So I'm just giving God thanks. So 2020, I'm just, I'm looking forward to 2021. I'm not going to make no New Year resolution because I hear people saying, oh, um, starters, you mean to get on. I'm a new person. I'm going to drop this and I'm going to drop that. Yeah, there's things that you're going to need to drop, but I'm just going to take one step at a time and allow God to lead, lead. And um, there's this song that kept me through. I'm not going to sing it. I'm just going to just say the word. It's like, it's your breath in our lungs. So we, um, we sing out a praise, sing out a praise unto you, Lord. And it's really, I mean, if you have not heard that song, just take a moment and listen to that song in your quiet time. It says you give life, you give hope, you bring light in the darkness. And in this darkness that we've been through with COVID, God is our light. He's also our refuge and our strength. And we got to seek him and seek him all the time. And what God has been laying on my heart these days is like going to my bed every night, just letting the Bible, just leaving my, uh, my tablet on and just let it just read from Genesis to Revelation wherever I fall asleep. And it is so nice. It's so soothing. It's just so awesome. And if you have not tried it, trust me, I think you, you, you're missing out. Just go and try it. It is really, really fantastic. And that's something that I'm actually getting DeAndre into because we had a really good, con I had, well, I had a really good conversation with him this afternoon because I was in the bath and God was just downloading things to me about him. And I had to just come out the bath and just sat with him and just start saying things because, you know, sometimes as teenagers, they, they think that God is not real. You know, because sometimes they've got so much questions and even though you're answering the questions, they're still not sure until when God start laying things on your heart, you know, when you give it to them, that's when they, you know, they come to terms. But I mean, God is good. And let's just continue to praise him and pray for each other and just continue to lift each other up. And, you know, we may not able to call every day or text every day, but just keep each and every one of us in your prayer. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Sister Cho. Wonderful. Wow. Keeping, keeping, the scripture on while you go to bed. Wow, fantastic. So that's something that, uh, well, some of us could try. Okay, now, um, Santel, can you come and read for us? Hi, sorry. What, what is it that you'd like me to read? Isaiah chapter 33, verses 1 to 6. Can I oh, okay. One second. Can we um, see you? 
Um, I'm in my PJ. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really want to cover this one. Um, what, can I borrow your phone, please? It's going to be Isaiah. Hmm? Yeah, the Bible. Oh, I'm, I'm just trying to find it. Sorry. Okay. Let me get my Bible. Uncle, could you come back to me? Because I'm a little bit unprepared. Okay, let me come back. All right, let's go over to Jamaica to Pastor Marva. Marva, let's hear from you there. Thank you, Pastor. Evening, all. Evening. Not too long. Lovely to see everybody. Now I won't be at 6.30 here in the evening. It's, tw um, it's 23.30, 24 here. Yeah, okay. So it felt really strange when we started the service because the sun was shining and I thought, this just don't feel right. This isn't watch night, what I'm used to, but <laughs> it's lovely to be here. And then, of course, Susan at the other end is tucked in bed. So, but God is good, you know, right around the globe, it's the same God that we're serving. He's got the whole world in his hands. Isn't that wonderful? Uh, wow, I, I just don't know where to start, where to finish. And Pastor said, be short. So what can I say? Just to God be the glory, great things he's done. First of all, I just want to say that for everybody that shared so far, I've been so encouraged. I see myself as a mother in Zion and... And just our beautiful, you know, family, children that have grown. It's like you, you go away from home, you leave children, you say, right, you do this, you do that. When you come back, the house is all tidy and it's just wonderful. And I've just, it's just been so beautiful to see how people in the midst of so many challenges have grown. And I want to encourage you, first of all, to say that we have more than enough to give the world that will need us in this coming year, 2021. Uh, this year has been a year like none before, none that we ever expected, anticipated in any shape or form. But the fact that we're still here now, the, that we've got the breath of God in our lives, means that God has kept us for such a time as this. And uh, so everybody that's on this platform has been through a process they never expected to go through, challenges, valleys, a few hills, but God has been with us throughout it all. And so... I just want to encourage us to just keep on going. We don't know what the future holds, but the important thing is knowing that God is with us now. He was with us in the past and he'll be with us in the future. So I really want to encourage every one of us. I just want to leave a couple of scriptures. Um, and I've been making a note of folks as they've been sharing scripture. But um, the, uh, what the Lord has laid on my heart and as Susan said, you know, it's, it, it, I think it's important that we have something on a personal note, as well as a corporate note, and Pastor will share a corporate vision later. But one of the things the Lord has really encouraged me to do and to share with others is to realize that the days that we're living in, Jesus talked about them in Matthew 24, and he says that we are at the beginning of sorrows, we're at the beginning of sorrows. So Basically, it means that times are challenging. They're not going to get easier, but we need to know because the word says, he that endures to the end, the same shall be saved. So it's going to take a lot of endurance. But three spirits I know will be very prevalent in these end times. I just want to share is the spirit of fear, the spirit of offense, and the spirit of deception. And so it's important that we really guard our hearts. Proverbs 3, 5 says that we should trust in the Lord with all our hearts and lean on our own understanding in all our ways, acknowledge him and he will direct our path. So I wanna share that with you because that's the scripture that I'm having in my spirit. And also um, Revelation 22 verse two, uh, the Lord has given us the leaves for the healing of the nation. Um, I'm in Jamaica at the moment with my mom, she'd had a few falls and I had it in my spirit that I just want to go and share a traditional turkey Christmas dinner with my mom. And God is so awesome. I managed to get into Jamaica on the last flight before lockdown and it was one joke. I mean, I laugh about it now, but it wasn't funny at the time. Because anybody who's been on a flight to Jamaica, they know when, the, when it touches down onto the tarmac, everybody's clapping and cheering, yeah, they're home, you know? Uh, but the mood changed very quickly and uh, it's a long story. But uh, God is good. And, you know, whenever we're going through anything, the peace of God, which passes all understanding, is what we need to carry us through any situation. 
And everybody went through a situation they never expected. Uh, our passports were taken away. We were, you know, had to, we all had to take the COVID test. Uh, we were all put into rooms that were, you know, nice rooms, nice rooms. I can't complain about that. Uh, but everything was against our will. We had no control and no power over what was happening. And being, having to stay in your room, you know, quarantine for two days, uh, it was it was a, it was like a, there was a spirit that was prevailing, the spirit of control where you have no power, and you know to to go through something like that is not an easy experience. A lot of people are really very fearful, but you know the Lord was really speaking, uh, speaking to me. I said, "Fear not." And so through it all, there was a lot of other things that I learned. So I'm on uh, quarantine still. I've been tagged <laughs> and also monitored. I've got my little monitor here. So I can't go through the gate. I've got to stay indoors. And uh, I as, I'm, as the service has been going on, the police cars up and down the road, I'm, I'm sitting there thinking, oh my God, if they come to see if I'm still indoors. So I've been on lockdown here too. Cannot even go through the gate just a few, two feet away, you know. But God is good because to me, it doesn't matter what prison we find ourselves in. Just like Paul and Silas, when they were in jail, they said, come on, let's worship. Let's praise God. And all of us, in some shape or form, will face times when we're in prisons. It may not be a physical one. It may be one of our minds, our spirit, soul, our bodies. But the joy of the Lord is our strength. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, is what will keep us. So God bless you. I love you all. And um, 2021... God is not going to fail us. He's brought us too far to leave us. And I want to encourage you that you've got more than enough for yourself and to bless others. So God bless you. I love you all. God bless. Amen. Thank you all. Wonderful. Amen. God bless you. Okay. Right. So we can actually now have Chantel to come and read to us um, Isaiah 33, 1 to 6. Paul will love this because it's Isaiah 33, verse 6. That will be our, our theme scripture that we're standing on this year. 336. Or, okay. Chantel? Okay. Uh, hello? Hi there, good. Let's, let's hear it. Isaiah. Can you put on, please? Hmm? Sorry, Uncle, what was the scripture? Isaiah 33, verse 6. Okay. okay, what are you going to do, Chantel? Um, I've got it. You got it? Sure? Mm-hmm. Okay. Fire away then. Let me put it on the screen as well. Okay. In that day, he will be he will be for sure found it for he will be your sure foundation, providing a rich store of salvation, wisdom, and knowledge. The fear of the Lord will be your treasure. I read from verse one, please, to see it. Oh, okay. So I can read that. It's on the screen, if you look on your screen. Oh, okay. Oh, I can't see that on the screen. Would you like me to read a particular translation? NIV. NIV. Woe to you, destroyer. You who have been destroyed, woe to you, betrayer. You who have not been betrayed, when you stop destroying, you will be destroyed. When you stop betraying, you will be betrayed. Lord, be gracious to us. We long for you. Be our strength every morning, our salvation in time of distress. At the uproar of your army, the people flee. When you rise up, the nations scatter. You plunder, O, you plunder, o nation, is harvested as by young locusts. Like a swarm of locust people pounce on it. The Lord is exalted, for he dwells on high. He will fill Zion with his justice and righteousness. He will be for sure, for, he will be the sure foundation for your times, a rich store, 
a restore of salvation and wisdom and knowledge. The fear of the Lord is the key to this treasure. Amen. Thank you so much, Chantel. Welcome. So we're gonna we're gonna I'm gonna invite you to uh, circle and mark verse six in your Bibles or write it out. He will be the sure foundation for your times, a rich store of salvation and wisdom and knowledge. The fear of the Lord is the key to this treasure. All right? So this will be the word that we're standing on for this year. The Lord is the sure foundation. We're building on no other foundation, but on the foundation, which is Jesus Christ. Okay? Okay. And so that's what we're going to stand on as we go over into 2021. We've got about 25 minutes before we go over. So we need to hear uh, and understand. Now, there are a few people who haven't shared their testimony. And so before we uh, give us a, a, an encouragement from this word and two other scriptures, um, I want to ask Sister Brenda, if you are available to unmute. I know sometimes you work. Are you available to share a testimony with us, Sister Brenda? Oh, yes, Pastor. Wonderful. Can we see you too? Okie doke. <laughs> Let me see. There you go. Okay. Over to you. Yeah, good night, everyone. Okay, let me fix it properly. Yes. Yes, I just want to say, you know, 2020 has been a trying year for me. Um, you know, going through trials and tribulation and the whole lot. But through it all, I just learn. Each day I just learn to trust him. And in about, say, May, June, you know, I was just praying and speaking to him and, you know, just giving him thanks. Because I remember he said, just give me thanks. And that's what I was doing. And I was going through these Psalms that he has gave me. It's um, 27, 23, 91, Genesis 1, and through revelations as well. So those are the scripture that keep me going. And those scripture I build that strength in me, it is, oh, it's unbelievable. Because it's like the scripture blocked whatsoever was there. The scriptures, the more I read it, the more I listen, it, it has blocked. It's like I forget all the troubles. And I was just standing in the presence of God each and every day. And going online, getting involved in other churches, you know, other Zooms as well. And, you know, just, just reaching out, just reaching out. And that has taken me through 2020, <laughs> which I, I hasn't, you know, there's no worry. For me, there was there is no worry because I know that there's a God and he will keep me and he will continue to keep me safe because, you know, working through as well all through the pandemic, you know, I never feel afraid that something's going to happen. Mm. I always said... God is my refuge or my strength and he will shield me through all this, you know, and that's the beauty of knowing the value of worshiping him, knowing the value of myself, taking control, be patient, calm, very calm. This 2020, this time, oh my God, the calmness that is within me it's unbelievable you know and it's like there is nothing that can come against me that can raise certain rage in me because every time 
I reach that stage, he said, just give me thanks. And that's what I use. I use the word thank you. I use the word, you know, that I am grateful. I always say, Lord, thank you. Thank you for every day I give him thanks. I give him thanks every day because he has kept me, you know, passing on word to my colleagues at work and, you know, meeting up with a few as well that, you know, praying and giving God thanks. It's, it's just a beauty. It's a beauty. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I forget that the, I'm going through this crisis or, you know, the pandemic or whatsoever it is. But, you know, I always said God know best. And as long as we are in his will and in his way and, and going to his way, then he will keep us. And, you know, through, I, I remember last week, sometime I went to, to Bristol, I was praying and the spirit, my son was having a, a week um, convention on, on the Zoom. And I was at work, but the spirit said, oh, you have to get there. So I said, oh my God, I'm just knackered. So anyway, I just get up and I go. But when I go there, the spirit said, oh, you just have to be there for him. But I didn't understand, but I went. I've been obedient to the spirit through this time and I went and the spirit, I see pastor to everyone. The spirit of God move in a mysterious way. I said, it's wonders to perform. He was saying, I went in and the spirit said, you need to pray and anoint him. And I remember when I went in, I hold him and I start to pray. He was just ready to go on the Zoom and he started to pray. And I'm telling you, the spirit of God move so mightily, so powerfully. It was unbelievable. But I remember he said, this is what I want you to do. And, you know, even until now, he said from he been ministering, praying, preaching, he never been to that level, you know, in the spirit. So I know that God is doing a new thing. Coming out of 2020, going into 2021, it's going to be a great year for we, the children of God. And I'm just going to ask and encourage each and every one who's, whosoever is not in, please get in. Just get in there before the door closes. Because I'm telling you, we are living in a time where it's very, we don't know where, we don't know what's going to happen. We don't know where we're going to go. We don't know what will be tomorrow. So I'm just asking each and every one to just try, try Jesus, just try Jesus because he's, he's here to receive us. And for 2021, I just want to sit beside him permanently. That's all I ask, to sit beside him permanently because even sometime in 2020, you kind of, you know, unbalanced. But 2020, I tell you, it, it teach you that God is alive and he's well. So that's my testimony for yes. 2020 going into 2021. Yeah. Amen. I see a little <laughs> preach. Wonderful. Excellent. And we've got a few other folks just a short one from, that's one wonderful Sister Brenda. Uh, Keith, if you can unmute yourself. And, and then Princess Jaya and Colin. Keith, let's see you as well, if it's possible, Keith. Let's share a short testimony. Unfortunately not. Okay. Um, but I'm just so glad to be here um, to be a, a part of the... Um, the gathering going in, into 2021 and you know so much so much has happened and so so much to be grateful for and you know there was there, there was a songwriter that said hold on let me just take a breath 
I just can't give up now. I've come too far from where I've started from. Nobody told me that the road would be easy. I have come too far from where. Yeah, I've gone a little bit off then, but the the, the point is that you know the God is going to continue to keep me wherever he, he's going to take me. And, and these are my few words in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay, now you can, on wonderful Keith, you should have continued. Fantastic voice. Wow. We have to uh, develop that. <laughs> okay, Jana, uh, you were trying to get in there whilst he was speaking. Let's hear, hear from you. And then we're going to have a short reflection before we uh, pray together and go over into the new year. Jay, Jay, Jay. Jay, Anna. Hi, good evening. Good evening. <laughs> um, I'm at work, so I'm in and out. So, yeah, um, yeah. Well, a lot to be thankful for. Um, one of the good things is you know, though we've in lockdown away from home because I'm in England now. Um, oh, wow. I remember last time I was coming over, my boss said to me, I said, to, I said, well, they said to me I could bring Colin with me. And <laughs> it worked out to be such a blessing because, you know, at the end of the day, it's a, it's a big house and, you know, but for me, we're grateful for having a job, good health, being able to get online, yeah, for my children, friends that have spoken into my life. Yes, we've lost family members to, um, you know, COVID, one of my aunties in Jamaica, but God has been faithful. He's really been helpful to us, you know, so I've seen where throughout all of this, um, yeah, I had to come and speak to Pastor Marva about um, <laughs> um, after my auntie passed away and the, a lot of occultism that was happening in my family. And it was really like, you know, a blessing to really have someone to understand what I was going through because I think um, Sister Dawn prayed into my life and was really, really helpful, you know, and I've seen quite a lot, you know, so it, it's just, it's a blessing to be able to, you know, come and meet with you guys at the time of, of the need, so you know, it's, it's good, but I'm gonna have to go and we'll catch up because I'm being yeah. called, yes? Okay, fantastic, Sister Jana. Wonderful. You know, God through. Now, uh, Shay Shay, you're the last person who, who we'd like to pass on a quick testament, if you would like to. If not, then we're going to move on because we've got, now we turned around that we've got 13 minutes before the new year kicks in. I would like everyone to be praying the same prayers simultaneously as we go from one year to the next. Okay, now Isaiah 33 verse 6 says, He will be the sure foundation for your times. So I want everyone to just repeat that word with me, sure. Okay, just say sure. There's two words that, that you've got to really focus in on, sure and foundation. Okay? So just repeat those words for me, sure and foundation. The Lord will be the sure foundation for your times. So whatever we're going through, whatever 2020 threw at us, God is going to keep you safe. 
he didn't say we wouldn't have troubles. Now, when you build a house, brothers and sisters, you ensure that the foundation is deep enough to sustain it. So the higher you want to go, the deeper you dig the foundation. Is that right? And when you build a house, it will not always be sunshine and, and happiness. You're going to have times of storm. You're going to have times when the winds are going to beat against your, your house. You're going to have times when the, the, the superstructure that on the foundation is going to shake. But we know that if we build our lives on the foundation of Jesus Christ, when the storms come, when pestilence come, when plagues come, we will not be shaken. We will stay strong. Okay? Why? Because God is able. God is able to do exceedingly. That's the other scripture I want to share with us. Okay? Not only are we, he will be our sure foundation for our times. That's what he says. He will be the sure foundation for your times. Not only that, he will be a rich stone of salvation. Now, uh, we heard people testify that 2021 is going to be another, it's going to be a bumper year. And we heard people tell us, uh, I think Pastor Marvel was sharing about the three spirits, the spirit of fear, the spirit of offense, and the spirit of deception is going around. And people are fearful. The Bible says, People are, are going to lose their lives. Their, 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 heart, their heart's going to fail them because of fear. And you see people are dropping dead. Oh, you've got COVID. Oh, it's going to kill me. No, no, no. As Sister Esma says, COVID is like the flu. You could survive all these things. You will survive. Even if it comes near your dwelling, it will not take you out. Because the Lord knows the, the, the time of your birth, and he knows the time of your death. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And we've got to be, that, that's why the Lord has been taking us through so many scriptures. You remember he took us to Job? And Job said, though he slay me, what will I do? I will trust him. Though my body is ravaged, I will still trust him. And his wife said, why don't you curse God and die? He said, don't be such a silly woman. The Lord gives. And the Lord takes away. But blessed be the name of the Lord. And so we want to recognize that Jesus is that firm foundation. He goes on to say, a rich stone of salvation and wisdom and knowledge. Okay, and he caps it in that verse. He says, the fear of the Lord is the key to this treasure. <laughs> and once you start to fear the Lord, you start to get wisdom. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. The fear of the Lord gives you a, a zest for knowledge. Knowledge gives wisdom. Wisdom is the application of knowledge. And so let me, uh, let me just leave the scriptures I want you to take away from this tonight. Isaiah 33, 1 to 6, and particularly verse 6, okay? That's what we're standing on this year. He will be the sure foundation for your times. So it doesn't matter what you're going through, the foundation will remain there. And then Ephesians 3, 20 to 21. And Ephesians 3, 20, 21 says, Now unto him who is able to keep us from falling and present us faultless before his throne in glory. To the, yes, to, let me read it. If someone got it, they could. Let me read it because I don't... Uh, want you to Ephesians 3 you should know that everyone who's reading your scriptures should know this Philippians 
Ephesians chapter 3, verses 20, 21. I want to read it so that you can hear what it says. It says this, Now to him who by the power at work within us is able to accomplish abundantly more than all we can ask or imagine. To him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever. He's able. He's more than able. And lastly, as we're coming down to 2020, end of 2020, we're leaving 2020 behind. Let, let me take you to 1 Corinthians, 1 Corinthians chapter 3. 1 Corinthians chapter 3. I'm just going to read. I want you to go and read the whole chapter, but I'm just going to read one verse there. Verse 11. 1 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 11 says this. For no one can lay any foundation other than the one that has been laid. Okay? The foundation is Christ Jesus. And listen to what verse 12 says. Now, if anyone builds on the foundation with gold, silver, precious stone, wood, hay, straw, the work of each builder will become visible for the day will disclose it. It will be revealed with fire and the fire will test what sort of work each has done. And this is why we need to ensure that we are building on the word of God. We're building on the, 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 the word of God. We're building on righteousness and justice. We're standing on Jesus. Okay. Because I'm telling you, as uh, Pastor Marvel revi- reminded us, and J- Jesus said in, in Matthew 24, at the beginning, these are the beginning of sorrows. Uh, and he says, many earthquakes, pestilence is going to come. And we saw in, in Croatia just this week, this, this terrible earthquake where people were in the parliament going about their business. And suddenly, suddenly there was a shaking. Things have been shaken. But let me tell you, when you are on the foundation of Jesus Christ, even though you will be shaken and stirred, you will not be moved. Amen. And so that's the word I want to leave with you. Our theme for this year, he will be the firm, found, sure foundation for your time. Our scripture that we're going to go through is 1 Corinthians, the book of 1 Corinthians, and focusing on 1 Corinthians 3. Read it. And t- you know, 1 Corinthians, start, 1 Corinthians starts out, you know, by telling us that you're supposed to be mature now. You're supposed to be mature. You're supposed to be praying for other people rather than asking people to be praying for you. Okay? Because you've got to build on the solid rock, on Christ, the solid rock. I stand all other ground mm, is sinking sand. All other ground is sinking sand. And our song for this 2021 is... He is able. He's able. He's able to do exceedingly, abundantly, more than we can think or imagine. And I want to share with you that this evening, this evening, I collected the key to the building. Okay. Symbolic. I collected the key to the building. Okay. Watch what God does in 2021. (laughs) Okay. It's coming up to two minutes to 2021. And so let us, let us pray this prayer together. Okay. We are going to, we we normally be standing when we're praying this, but we, we, we just want to pray this prayer together. It's the evening prayer. We're just going to pray part of it as we go over into the new year and then as we go in, into the new year then we're going to um we're going to um um 
we're going to pray individually for us. Okay? So let us pray this prayer together. All right? So you, I will pray and you repeat after me. Brother Paul should know this off by heart. Let's pray. My Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall declare your praise. Blessed are you, Lord, our God, and God of our fathers, God of Abraham, God of Isaac, and God of Jacob, the great, mighty, and awesome God, exalted God, who bestows bountiful kindness, who creates all things, who remembers the piety of the patriarchs, and who, in love, brings a redeemer to their children's children for the sake of his name. O King, you are a helper, a savior. Blessed are you, Lord, shield of Abraham. You are mighty forever, my Lord. You resurrect the dead. You are powerful to save. He sustains the living with loving kindness. Resurrects the dead with great mercy. Supports the falling. Heals the sick releases the bound and fulfills his trust to those who sleep in the dust. Who is like you, mighty one? And who can compare to you, king? Who brings death and restores life and causes deliverance to spring forth? You are trustworthy to revive the dead. Blessed are you, Lord, who revives the dead. We'll do one more stanza. You are holy, and your name is holy. And holy beings praise you daily for all eternity. Blessed are you, Lord, the holy God. You graciously bestows knowledge upon man and teach mortals understanding. Graciously bestow on us from you wisdom, understanding, and knowledge. Blessed are you, Lord, who graciously bestow knowledge. And let me just pray for everyone. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord God, that you are a gracious God. You raises the dead from the dead. You cause the dead to die. You are gracious. And so, Lord, graciously bestow on us everything that you have in store for us. And as we go into this new year, we are in our hearts, we're seated, but we're on our knees we bow down before you and we say, Lord God, be our sure foundation, be our rock. And, and you know that you will be the rock of offense. Many will offend us as we traverse 2021, but help us to stand firm on your word. Help us to believe your word. Help us to uh, re respect your word. Help us to lift up your word. Because you said in your word, Lord God, you've exalted your name and your word above all else. And so, Lord God, we thank you for allowing us to cross over, to see a new year, to stand on this platform where we're going to see uh, great things, great harvest of souls, people running to, 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 be, to be saved, people saying, Yes, I want to know him and to know the power.
hour of his resurrection and to be accompanied by the fellowship of his suffering. And so, Lord God, minister your grace to us as we tell you thanks in Jesus' name. A happy New Year, everyone. A happy New Year. A happy, happy New Year, year everybody. Yourself. Unmute yourself. Happy New Year, Pastor. Unmute yourself. Happy, happy New Year, year everyone. Happy New Year. 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 Happy Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Happy 2021. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Okay. Happy bless you. I'm going to go. Bless you, bless you, bless you. You've just spent some chicken uh, sharing. Bye, have a good night. Go, yes, go, thank yet. you. Yes. We've got a few more. Everyone. We've got another five hours. Don't go yet. Don't go yet. Okay. Sorry, I, I, I need to go, but I'll have to say goodbye and see you on what? Sunday. What? Uh, you gonna say miss my Thank you, Hold baby. On. Hmm? Before anybody Thank you. goes. Oh, happy New Year. Before everybody and goes. You. And you, Donald. Happy New Year, Marva. All right, sweet talk. Good We're going to start our Good fasting. We're going to start seven days of fasting from Sunday the 3rd. Yeah. Okay. I'll, se I'll, I'll, if I'll send out the, the guidelines. And uh, if you haven't... If you haven't fasted before, you haven't fasted before for that length of time, then just do the partial fast, okay? But this is going to be transformational because we need revelation. We need to hear from the Lord. Remember the word that we're standing on? Right? Who's that in the background? Okay. All right. We're still unmuted, but we're gonna. I'm gonna share this. Uh, as we as we've entered into 2020, listen to this, okay? Listen to this fantastic song that we're gonna hear now. It says he's able, he's able to do exceedingly abundantly more than we can we can think or imagine. Okay. Yes. Know that God is able to do exceed. Oh, you can act something according to the power that worketh in us. Yeah. Hallelujah. How many believe it tonight? Somebody turn to your neighbor and tell your neighbor, he's able. Tell somebody else he's able. Y'all ready? Exceedingly.
And so as we step, we've stepped over, we've crossed over into 2021. Hold on to that. That's our door. Terrell, Ainsley, all of those who are on here. Come on, I want you to, guys to get away and, and, and let me stop recording this now. I want you to go away and uh, 